Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the data acquisition system. So data acquisition system, by seeing the name, we can understand that it is used to collect some data. It is used to collect the data. Acquiring is nothing but collecting the data and processing the data. So data acquisition system is used to collect the data from different types of transducers what we have studied so far. From all these acquisitions, uh, from all these transducers, it collects the data and process, multiplex it together and process it. So, uh, what are the different types of transducers we have seen so far? Uh, velocity transducers we have seen, which is used to calculate the velocity. And pressure transducer, moisture, displacement. Force. Okay, these are the different types of measurements we have come across. So, so humidity. These are the different types of transducers that are used to collect any physical parameters that will be converted into analog data. Same type of different types of transducers have been connected. The input of this data acquisition system, they are used to collect the data and sending to the multiplexer thereby. Some processing, some processing will be done to get the required operation to be done. So in this data acquisition system, a typical data acquisition system consists of individual sensors with the necessary signal conditioning, data conversion, data processing, multiplexing, data handling and associated transmission storage and display systems. These are the various step by step processes we need to encounter in the process of data acquisition system from starting to ending. So what we are doing in, from individual sensors, it takes the data from individual sensors like uh, one transducer, one transducer, two transducer, three like that we have different types of transducers. From these transducers, what we are doing, we are collecting the data. We are collecting the data and this data has to be passing through a signal conditioning device, data conversions, data uh, conversion means analog data may be converted to digital data and that data again processed, multiplexed data handling and associated with data transmission, storage and display systems. So let us see before going to the block diagram of this data acquisition system, let us see what are the objectives and factors of this data acquisition system. So objectives of data acquisition system means it must acquire the necessary data it correct at correct speed and at the correct time. So within the stipulated time, I want to complete this uh, uh, data acquisition of the entire instruments what I have in the, in a, in a, what is that, uh, any industry. So in the particular stipulated time, it is used to, the data acquisition system is used to collect the data in that particular time. Okay, and without any error, it has to collect. So use of all data efficiently to inform the operator about the state of the instrument. So once the instrument is something, some instrument X is running and now our data acquisition system is going to collect the data from this instrument. It collects all the different types of data and multiplex it together, produces an output waveform. In that output waveform, if any error or work in not working conditions observed, then they have to be again remodeled. So such type of data efficiency should be there, which has to be efficiently used and the state uh, to, op to inform the operator about the state of the instrument. So it must monitor the complete plant, oper plant operation to maintain online optimum and safe operations. Okay, different types of methods we are using. One is we can directly measure physically, we can measure the um, what is it? A data acquisition system. Uh, otherwise, we can also do this in virtual mode. So it must monitor the complete planned operation to maintain online optimum and safe operation. Suppose some uh, work is going on in that we are collecting the entire data in the online only. We are going to give some instructions so that particular operation could be done. It must provide an effective human communication system and be able to identify problem areas. So it must provide an effective human communication system. Effective human communication system and be able to identify problem areas and should be able to identify the problem areas thereby minimizing the unit availability and maximum unit through point at maximum cost. Suppose 
uh, in the in this data acquisition system suppose uh, well, what we are doing we are collecting uh, uh, 10 number of transducers are there or 10 number of sensors are there from all these 10 number of sensors we are collecting the data 1 2 3 and so on like this now a person should be there human being should be interacted here so that is suppose the data that is coming from this third system it is having some error this has to be uh, remodeled or uh, whatever the required things have to be taken care of that would be done so these are the different objectives that we have to follow when we are working for this data acquisition system coming to the block diagram of data acquisition system so i'm keep on saying that data acquisition system is having a lot of uh, transducers or any sensors at the input stage and followed by several uh, conditioning stages like uh, processing stages so the transducer 1 2 3 4 here four different transducers we have taken depending on the industrial requirement we can increase the number of transducers or decrease the number of transducers so in general uh, we are replacing just with uh, a factor n okay so we are replacing the number of transducers or number of sensors number of sensors n is nothing but number of sensors in this example in this example there are four sensors we have taken all these four are different types of transducers which can accomplish a different type of task so transducer 1 transducer 2 3 4 transducer 1 output these are individual separated channels one channel is no way related to other channel so the output of this transducer 1 is directly connected to the input of signal condition 1 so here the purpose of transducer is, is to collect the physical parameter what you are intended to measure and the second one is the signal conditioner which is used to condition or apply some process whatever you are going to do on that particular device i have collected some information sound wave and that sound wave is going to be processed and applied to the multiplexer what is the purpose of multiplexer what is the purpose of multiplexer by seeing the name, name itself tells that it is used to multiplex or add all the sig received signals together. Okay, I am saying that among these n number of transducers, I have said here, among these n number of transducers, not all the transducers work parallelly. Some may work and some may not work. It depends on the requirement. So, output of these different channels are connected to a single channel the all these channels must be converted into a single channel and in order to in order to convert them into a single channel a multiplexer is being used multiplexer is being used so four signals we are taking is to one is the output four is to one multiplexer or we can also write it as two power two by one okay so here the four is nothing but number of inputs n is nothing but n is equal to 2 which is nothing but some select lines so what we'll do we are having n number of uh, signals at the input all these n number of signals have to be converted into a single channel signal like a multiplexer signal so he till this point we are completely dealing with the signals so those are analog signals okay so the input signals all the transducer signals which are converted back to electrical signal is an electric is a, an analog signal that analog signal passes through the signal conditioner and then apply to the multiplexer now this analog signal this analog signal if we want to use then we can take the signal output here itself okay here the output can be calculated in two ways one is the digital form another one is the analog form so if, if, if at all we want to see the output in only analog nature then analog data has to be taken from the output of multiplexer itself what it is it is a mixed signal it is a mixed signal which has all the data from different types of transducers now this analog signal should be converted into digital data if it is required okay definitely digital data is also required in all the different types of instruments so this analog signal will be converted into a digital signal by taking a converter called analog to digital converter so now 
This output is completely a digital signal. This signal can be used to drive printers, digital design, uh, digital display, magnetic tape, transmission, computer processing. These are the different types of uh, uh, tasks that our output signal can accomplish. And we can do and we can perform any one of these. Suppose if we take the uh, analog signal directly from the output of multiplexer, those are used to uh, record, these are used for the recorders, uh, display, monitor, uh, meter. Okay. So this is the complete block diagram of uh, data acquisition system. So it must be able to collect, summarize and store data for diagnosis of operation and record purpose. It must be able to compute unit performance indices using online or real-time data. It must be flexible and capable of being expanded for future require. It must be reliable and not have to uh, not have a downtime greater than 0.1%. So it must be always reliable because with the error may be if we calculate it is around like 0.1% as it is very 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 less uh, error this is more reliable system. Okay, so with this I am uh, stopping this video. In the next video I will explain what are the different factors and applications of this digital, for, uh, digital uh, what is this data acquisition system.